It's really not, no words you can put to it. I guess it's exciting. It's fun to be here. Uh, the guys are awesome. Team's great. We're just excited to play in the game. And just being a sophomore on this team, you know, you put up some impressive numbers this season. Um, what's gone into that, and, and how do you uh, hope to perform Saturday? Uh, yeah, just continuing to train in the off season, uh, getting better with my team on and off the field. Um, hopefully, it all pays out in the end on Saturday. So that's the end goal on site. So. How excited are you to be here and to, you know, to be in this stage on this game? Uh, like I just said, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, the team is great. We're all excited. We're, we're excited for the warm weather most of all and the good footing on the field. But yeah, it's just super exciting. No words can describe it. You guys got you guys photo bomb and coach during his interview. <laughs> you guys pretty loose. Yeah, that's uh, we've always kind of been like that. We're a fun team to be around, kind of goofy, but in a good way. Um, how do you get here? I mean, it's 16 games that you guys have been asked to play. Yeah. Um, they're not going to ask that at D1 athletes. Is it, is it a little unfair, or do you not mind the games? Uh, I mean, games are the funnest part about being on a football team. So I guess I think we've really just been taking it one game at a time, and obviously taking it one game at a time led to this. And we're here now, and we just got to take it one more game at a time and finish what we started. Coach is a, is a coach that gives a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys in this team that have gotten second chances. As, do you guys embrace that? And, and how satisfying is it to see when some of these guys come through and you know take advantage of that second yeah. chance? Yeah, uh, very satisfying. I mean, uh, it's huge to give it, be given a second chance. And I think the guys that are given a second chance make the most out of it. And you obviously see that on the field on Saturdays. What is it that, about Coach Anise that uh, you know brings the best out of guys who, who've maybe come from different circumstances? And, um, Definitely his energy, he's always he's very passionate about the game, he's very energetic about the game. He just always is encouraging us to have fun during the game and during practice and just goofing off like I said and yeah. You were on that South team that won a state title, right? Yep. Can you compare those two, these two experiences as you, as you prepare for another championship game? I was, I was thinking about that over the week actually, um, talking with some other guys that won a state title and it's, it's just, it's different. It's a different team but it's kind of the same feeling, uh, the excitement's still there, uh, but they're kind of uncomparable. You love your high school team, but you love your college team just as much. How much does winning and making a run like this bond a team? Uh, incredibly. Uh, there's no bond. It can't be broken, really. The bond can't be broken now that we're this far in the season, and I think that's going to carry out through the rest of our lives. This weather has to kind of feel like Arkansas, right? A couple yeah. Weeks ago. yeah, even better. <laughs> Honestly, it's warmer, a little humid, but... We're not complaining at all from the 35 degree weather in Michigan. I was going to say, is it kind of like taking a couple bats off from you know, the on deck circle? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. It feels great. And we're finally not slipping around on the field either. So that we look fast, we feel fast, and yeah, it feels good. Yeah, how difficult was it to try and prepare on a field that was, you know, an ice rink? <laughs> pretty, pretty terrible, but uh, yeah, we just focus on fundamentals, make sure we kept our footing. and did what we had to do to focus on what was task at hand. Oh yeah, um, real excited. Um, just trying to take it one day at a time, um, soak it all in, and um, get better every day we come out here. How much easier is it to practice when you're in these conditions as opposed to the ice rink you were on uh, back in Big Rapids? Uh, we try not to even think about it. Um, we got to play in all weather, so um, whatever it is, is rain, snow, or heat, uh, we're going to try to go out here and get better. When, you, when you're getting ready for an opponent like this, I mean, I, you guys are obviously very good, but I'm sure coach has got to kind of play these guys up to be incredible because they got here. Oh, yeah. So how difficult is it to, to make a team believe they can beat these guys but still get their attention that you have to be at your absolute best to, to play in a game like this? Uh, like I said, we just come out here every day, uh, compete with each other, uh, try to get better. And uh, when we play these guys, we're going to try to eliminate as many mistakes as we can, uh, flags as well, so uh, we can give us uh, the best chance to win. I know Coach said yesterday's practice was the same as it's been on every Wednesday. Um, Today's practice is going to be just like a normal Thursday. Oh, yeah. But from a player's perspective, is this normal? It is normal. Time? It's normal. Um, like I said, we're used to this, we're used to winning. Um, so we just come out here every day. Um, today is going to be just like yesterday and last week and the week before that. So to try to get it better uh, every day we come out here. What is it about Coach Anise? I mean, everywhere he goes, he wins. You obviously grew up in Muskegon, so you knew of him. And, you know, you were part of that 
uh, history and tradition of that program. What is it that he brings that makes guys play the way they play and, and teams just win? It's just his desire to, um, to be the best, um, his passion for the kids and the game. Um, and just all the hard work he puts in. Uh, he's an incredible coach. Uh, he has an incredible coaching staff, and he, um, he recruited some incredible players around here, so it's just awesome. Being from Muskegon and being part of those big runs, um, how does this kind of compare in your mind? Um, it compares the same. Uh, we went to the state championship my senior year. Uh, we came up short, so this time we try to use that um, to make, make this year uh, better. Uh, yeah, it's about all. I know. Do you, do you lean on a guy like Deshaun, who's who's won these championships now? Yeah, we do. Um, he, like I said, he knows. He uh, he's been there. Uh, he was won championships. Uh, he knows how to win. So um, we just ask him questions whenever you need it. Uh, he he helps us uh, get better every day. Uh, motivates people. So he knows what it takes. And uh, like I said, we do. We do. What's the biggest thing about him that, that makes him win? What's his best quality? Uh, he's just like T.A. Uh, his passion for the game, uh, for everybody else around him, his teammates, uh, his desire to win and be the best. He's an amazing player, uh, but he's just like T.A. to me. There's a good chance Jay Rue might win the, the Harlan Hill tomorrow for National Player of the Year. Um, I guess what's your message to those who maybe are deciding that award. Right, um, that's an incredible award. Uh, he's had an incredible season. Um, it's just awesome to see him uh, get that get that recognition from uh, what he's been through and all that. So it's, it's awesome, man. Was he easily accepted on this team? I mean, oh, yeah. everybody kind of knew what happened back in Detroit. Oh yeah, he definitely was. We knew he was a, uh, a good player. Uh, he was a computer. Uh, he was a good kid. Um, and a dog. So uh, yeah, we we accepted him the first day he came here. Ready to be on this stage, playing in this game? Um, I'm really excited. Uh, uh, we play football well. I don't know how everybody else play football, but I play football to win. And you know, it's just it feel good winning and getting to the championship. Man, uh, I won't be as happy until we win it though. How hard have you pushed, guys? Coaches, coaches brought that up on more than one occasion. I mean. I just feel like me being a person with a little reach, like as in, you know, I play quarterback and people look at that position like a uh, leader, like, you know, if they see your head up, they might respond in a different way than if they see your head down, you know, so I mean, every day since the, probably since last spring when I really uh, started going with the team, I've just been trying to get the best out of everybody so we can win, so, you know, we just get the, get the show rolling. Coach and he said that you went to him and said you didn't think you guys were going to make it that far and you, you had all these, you know, kind of things saying that the season was going to come up short. Uh, did you guys kind of flip a switch midway through the season or what changed? I mean, honestly, I feel like uh, we only played up to our full potential a few times. And I, I believe that's why I was stating the things that I stated. Just because, you know, teams that don't play up to their full potential and, and playoff runs and then championship runs don't be the teams that win. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I feel like we still haven't really got there yet, you know, as far as being the best team that we could be. And I, I just hope to see that Saturday. You won a JUCO national title, correct? Yeah. So how does this compare? And I know you were on some really good teams at Cast Tech. Bring back any memories or anything that you can learn from those trips? Uh, I mean, we, we come in every day uh, to work, you know, and uh, we got a couple of players on the team that uh, they try to be the best leaders they could be. And I feel like there's a couple of players on this team that can go to any Division One school, any Division One AA school and earn a, a starting spot, not just on a, a spot on the team, but a, a starting spot and actually contribute to a team's success. So we got a talented team and uh, some great coaches. They all put us in uh, positions to win and be successful. I mean, that's, that's just how it be when, when you win it, you know, it, all that play a part in it. I know uh, Coach said today's practice is going to be just a normal Thursday practice, but from a player's perspective, is this normal preparing for a national championship? I mean, the team that, that we are, uh, every day we, that, that we do come to work, we're never as tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we never, we, we focus, we're locked in, we're focused, but some of the players we got on our team is just, uh, they love the game of football. So when we plan and running certain routes and calling certain plays, uh, 
it don't seem to be too tense. You know what I'm saying? And it never was really like that. Uh, like I said, we got a, a lot of guys that really love the game of football, so uh, they have fun while they're working hard. What is it about Coach Nice that uh, makes him such a good coach? He talks about you know being an educator, being a very important part of him, and mm -hmm. that's why he he does what he does. Um, I mean, Coach Nice, he, he not only is he a good coach, he's just a good person. Like overall, like uh, I watched him. Um, the interview with uh, Deshaun Thrower, and he uh, touched on a couple things as far as a uh, niece just checking in on you, seeing how you're doing. Like me, I've been having a couple injuries um, this season, and sometimes I'm thinking he's just calling to talk football. He really just calling to see you know, how your arm doing, you know, how your shoulder doing, how your legs feeling. And, you know, uh, he's just a real good person to talk to, and uh, it's not not just about football. Like it's not just about you go out there and you know you you put your helmet on and. And, and that's the only time he want to really talk to you, and that's the only time he re really want to uh, communicate with you. You know, it's, it's outside of that, too. How much does a player, how important is it for him to have a, a coach that believes in him and is willing to go to bat for him the way coach does? Uh, it's real important. I feel like uh, without a coach like Coach Nice, if, it, if it's just about football, I feel like that program itself really wouldn't be successful. You know, it's, even if the coach was uh, like the best football coach ever, like you know, I just I don't feel like that's just how things work. You know, so it's real important. Uh, coach Nice is definitely uh, one of the best coaches I ever played for. It's the biggest life lesson you've learned here under coach with these guys. Uh, just take it one day at a time, man. I just been taking things one day at a time. You know, I don't look uh, the big picture. You know, just. Knock out little small things one by one, and you know the rest take care of itself. So, uh, it's definitely a blessing. Um, yeah, I mean this is what we've been looking forward to the, the whole year. When I found out the national championship game was in Texas, I was like, oh, that'd be sweet. That'd be so sweet. And this is probably like uh, before the middle of the season, you know. So, I mean, it's been a goal for us, and we here now. So, uh, the cold definitely play a factor as far as. Just little things in the, the field that we played on in Minnesota last week was that was probably one of the worst fields I ever played on. It was so hard and it was so cold you couldn't really get out your brakes and you couldn't really cut how you wanted to and stuff like that. So um, it's definitely a blessing just to be here in some good weather and on a nice field. The Harlan Hill gets announced tomorrow. I know that's not your primary focus, but just what would that mean to you to win that award? Man. I don't know. When I came to Division Two, I wanted to be the best, the best guy on the field. I felt like it was, uh, I don't say disrespectful. You know, I made some mistakes that that caused me to have to go this route. But uh, when I came to Division Two, I was just, I just, I had an extra chip on my shoulder, and I just, just wanted to be the best I could be. So, I mean, whether I win, lose, draw, it don't matter what it is. I, I feel uh, very um, comfortable as far as uh, the work I have put in here. If you walk away with one trophy, which one means most? National championship. National championship. I'd rather have a big ring than an individual or a football or a team sport. You know, it's all about winning to me. So. I think it's mostly the culture that we have. We're like a really tight group, so it feels like we're a family. Um, when you look at Jay Ruth's season, I know he's, he's up for the uh, Hill Award tomorrow. I know that's not the focus here, but um, just how impressive has it been to be his center? Yeah, it's a great. He's a great guy to be around. He makes us all better at practice. He works harder than anybody. Uh, we had a practice. I'm pretty sure it was before the Davenport game, and he was like, we we're on the 40, and he was running full speed to the ends on every play, and he went like 30 snaps in a row, and I was just in shock of like how hard he works. Uh, I think we're dangerous in any kind of weather. You seen what we did last week at Minnesota, and we're used to playing on top taggers. So, I mean. It's nice to finally get on some good ground to have your feet underneath you, but we're ready. Uh, I agree with that. I think our best game was maybe against Finley, which was week two. So there's a lot more to come for us. Love playing. I mean, it's just fun to play. Like when I was in high school, we only made the playoffs a couple times. So like this is the longest ever since I got here. I've been playing in December ever since. So, I mean, I love it. It's fun. Uh, it's pretty tough, but especially playing up on the line with the battle in the trenches and stuff everybody's getting banged up but just a lot of treatment ice baths and stuff like that and just keeping good body during the season to be playing somewhat close to home and to have a chance to bring a national championship back to big rapids uh just what what does that mean to you oh uh, it's huge i mean the basketball team did it 
and we're just looking to repeat what they did and uh, finish the story that we got going on up with Ferris. That motivate you guys? Yeah, a lot. Um, I remember we were watching it in Coach Anissa's office, and it was just like the craziest thing ever, just seeing the joy on those dudes' faces. And they earned every bit of it, and we're just trying to do that. What did Coach say after they won it? Uh, it's our time. Ready to go.